We're going on a Blu-ray hunt and don't think we don't know how to wean them out. What is going on guys? How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing super duper well. I'm joined today by my girlfriend. We are going to a used Blu-ray store called Movie Outlet. Um, are you excited? Are you not excited? How do you feel? Thoughts? I feel excited for you. Excited for me. Um, so there are $3 Blu-rays. We're going to see how many we can get for under $100. I'm very excited about it gonna be dope hopefully we can film inside it doesn't look like anyone's in there so i don't want to like overstep our welcome but uh it's like black friday right now and i'm pretty freaking hyped possibly my new favorite store in the entire world i'm in love this is like the coolest store i've literally ever been in i think i'm in love oh look at that poster look at all these dvds oh my goodness you got lord of the rings dude Avengers Infinity War, dude, this is the coolest freaking store in the world. Great music, I'm in love. So many to pick from. I mean, there really is. It's a pretty sick place. And we are back in the car. So um, I got like, I think 20 Blu-rays, maybe more. I'm not gonna show you them here. I'm gonna go home so we have like more of a layout, more of a setup. But Jess got two things. Jess, that's Jess. It's my girlfriend. I'm Jess. She's Jess. Um, she got two Disney pins because she's a hardcore Disney fan and she's very excited. She wanted to show them. So first up, this wake up. one is the best one. Ooh. They don't make this pin anymore. And Tell it's them a what Tower it is. of Terror, Mickey Ears, Disney Parks Collection pin. And I'm very excited because we don't have Tower of Terror anymore. Yeah, and then I got this well, one, but this one's just boring. It's just 2017, but I thought it was cute. Yep, yeah, we're in 2020 now, so her dates were a little mixed up in there. It's okay. okay. But uh, the Tower of Terror paintings is pretty cool because those are like rare because Disneyland, where we go all the time, is now the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout ride. So that's pretty cool. As I said, the movies I got are, there's a lot. So we're going to show you them when we get home. And we made it back home. Well, just I did. Jess actually had to go to work. She's a working gal, so she could not finish the video with me. But if you look at this pile, I was not joking around when I said I got a lot. And I couldn't do it in the car because there's 28 movies in this stack. So for my $100 movie challenge, I got 28 movies. We're going to go through them really fast because I always do a Blu-ray haul at the end of the month where I talk about all the movies more in depth. So I'm kind of just going to show you guys show and tell. 28 movies for under $100, and I got two Disney pins, so I probably could have got 30 movies even, so that's pretty dang cool. So first up, I got Secretariat. I haven't seen it, but my girlfriend has, and she loves it, and it's a nice slip cover and everything. It says it was $23.99. These are all used Blu-rays, but uh, all the Blu-rays I got were $3 a piece. Then we got District 9 on my 100 movies list. I'm very excited to check it out. It was the only copy they had. I was so pumped that they had it. Then we got Fault in Our Stars. Love this movie. It's so sad. and It's it's sweet as well. Then we got Invincible. Now we're moving on to 100 movies list starring Mark Wahlberg. Love Mark Wahlberg. Hey, hey, pal. And then we got Jumper, one of my most underrated movies of all time. One of my favorites. Top 50. Top 50. I love it. It starred Hayden Christensen and it's a... It's a pretty solid movie. Like a guilty pleasure for sure. Then we got Battle of LA. I like this movie a lot. Really cool alien movie. Then... My girlfriend snuck a couple movies in, and Justin Bieber, Never Say Never, was one of them. So, uh, she put that in there. Yeah, all right. Then we got the to-do list. My girlfriend recommended me this. It's, um, uh, I can't really explain what it's about because I haven't seen it, but she said it's really good, and I should put it on my higher movies list, so I will do that. Then we got Bridesmaids, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Then we got another movie my girlfriend wanted, Twilight. I've been re-watching the Twilight movies with her. So we're gonna, I'm going to do a video of I watched Twilight and, you know. So I'm going to do that coming up. And I got the first Twilight because she owns all the other ones, but not that one. Then I got Frozen. I love the Frozen movies. I didn't own the first Frozen on Blu-ray, so I had to pick it up. Then I got another movie on my higher movies list, which is Speed, starring Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock. And I have not seen this, but I heard it's fantastic. Then we got... A brand new movie, the only brand new movie we got in its packaging, Big Miracle, starring John Kaczynski and Drew Barrymore. Haven't seen it, my girlfriend recommended it, she loves it, so we're going to check that out together. Then I got Two Guns, starring Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, two of my favorite actors. And uh, it's a funny movie, not the funniest, but it's still pretty funny. Another one of my favorite comedies of all time, Pitch Perfect. I love this movie so much, Fat Amy's great. Then we got The Intern, starring Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway, fantastic feel-good movie. I'm going through these fast, because like I said, at the end of the month, make sure you tune back in for the Blu-ray haul. Then, this is easily the biggest, best pickup of the day, Nightcrawler. 
starting Jake Gyllenhaal. Easily the best thing I got. It was $3 and I saw it. I said, wow, that is a steal. Jake Gyllenhaal was snubbed of an Oscar nomination and honestly the Oscar win. Then I got The Walk. Have not seen it, but I've been wanting to starting Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And it's from the directors of Forrest Gump. So that's pretty cool. Then I got Turbo with a nice little slipcover. Um, haven't seen Turbo. Heard it was pretty good though. Then I got the Eagle. I feel like it could have been a lot better than it was. I remember enjoying it a little bit, but it was $3. So I said, screw it. Might as well have it. Then I got the Heat. Another one of my favorite comedies of all time. in a nice little slipcover. Whew. It's hard talking this fast. We keep going through. Oh, I got to cut Six more. Las Vegas, a very underrated comedy starring Michael Douglas, Robert De Niro, and Morgan Freeman. All these guys are going to Michael Douglas' wedding, and they go to Vegas, and they're best friends from the childhood, and they go and have a good time. Really feel-good movie. Then I've got Grudge Match starring Stallone and De Niro. Not the best movie, but definitely solid nonetheless. Then I got, got to show these two together. Red 1 and Red 2. I got the first Red because I love Retired and Extremely Dangerous. I love these movies. They're hilarious. And I said, you know what? They also had Red 2. Might as well pick up both. Six dollars a piece. Come on. Come on. Then I got Man on Fire, one of my favorite Denzel Washington performances. I love this film so much. And last but not least, I enjoy this movie quite a bit. Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, definitely Groundhog's Day vibe starring Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise. An alien S movie. Fantastic. But... That's going to do it for this week's uh, Blu-ray hunt. I had so much fun. I got to say thanks to my girlfriend, Jess, for joining me on this. I had a lot of fun doing this $100 challenge. If you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and comment down below that you do want to see more $100 movie challenges. How many movies can you get for under $100? I went to this place called Movie Outlet. Go make sure to go and follow them on Instagram. It was really cool. They're really awesome people, and it was, it was a lot of fun going there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still watching, comment down below, hashtag 28. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor and go see a movie. I'll take you guys. I'll see you guys next time.